Hello students, I'm feeling thankful that it's Thursday. Th -th -th -th. Did you catch all those digraphs? Let's find a place where we have some space to enjoy our stretch. I'm gonna take a big breath and blow it all out like a loud balloon. Here we go. Grab it. When I'm here in downward frog, I wiggle and feel a stretch in my ankles. I can wobble and feel a stretch in my knees. I can wiggle some more and feel a stretch in my hips. Now I'm going to put my hands down, drop my head and stretch my legs. Then I'm going to roll up. Okay, I'm going to stand straight and tall, but not stiff. My feet are shoulder width apart, and I'm going to imagine myself a strong, calm mountain with my eyes gently closed, my arms out, breathing in and out, breathing in and out. I'm a strong, calm mountain. My feet go to the center of the earth. My head is high in the sky as I breathe in and out. I can feel the animals all over me. I feel the trees growing out of me as I breathe in and out. I'm connected to everything in nature as the strong mountain. I feel the wind. I feel the rain. I feel the snow and the sun breathing in and out. Gently open your eyes. Now let's be trees. Plant your trunk, arms out a little branches. Pick your leg up and breathe in and out. Feel yourself getting taller, breathing in and out. Your head is up to the sky, breathing in, getting taller, breathing out. Feel yourself getting taller and relax. Let's try on our other leg. Remember, plant your trunk in the ground. Feel your roots going to the center of the earth like the mountain almost, right? Let your branches go out and gently feel taller as you lift your leg, as you lift your branch, breathing in and out. Getting taller, breathing in and out. Now as tall as you can be, breathing in. Getting taller and taller. Don't let your shoulders scrunch though. Let your shoulders stay down, but still feel tall like a strong, tall tree. Okay, I'm so excited because today we have a new song to learn and it's one of our funnest songs of the year. It is called, Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York. Let me put my glasses on so we can sneak peek the pictures because we even sneak peek, peek pictures with songs and poems. And right there is a picture of a duke. So a duke is connected to kings and queens princes and princesses, a duke is lower, a little bit lower than kings and queens, and dukes were sometimes leaders of soldiers, of armies. So this is the grand old duke of York, and York is the place back in England that New York City is named after, right? So many settlers, when they went to a new place, when they came to America, and they started a new place, they named it after the place they were from. So people named New York City after York in England. So this is called, Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, okay? And it says, he had 10,000 men, so he had a big army. He marched them up to the top of the hill, right? They go up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. You can bet there's gonna be some fun actions here, right? So now let's try to sing it together. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. 
He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. So it'll probably take us a few days to really learn those words, but I'm gonna show you the actions already because they're so fun. So an army marches, right? So first we start off marching. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. So I do lots of tens to make 10,000. I, I can't make 10,000, but we can do this. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill so you get taller and he marched them down again. So get down for that part. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, can you be halfway? They were neither up nor down. Okay, so it's lots of up and down. Let's try one more time. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. <laughs> I'm out of the breath. Give me a chance to fix the camera and we'll take a look at our message. Let's take a look at our message. January 7th, 2021. Dear students, symbols are all around us. Okay, and, and yesterday we were talking about symbols for January. Remember the new month? Symbols are all around us. What, oh, here comes a question. What symbols can you see or find? What symbols can you see or find? What, oh, here's another question. What do they stand for? Mrs. Kilmer. Okay, so let's remind ourselves that a symbol is something that stands for something else, right? A symbol is something that stands for something else. It can be a picture, an image, an object, and it stands for something. It stands for an idea of something else. So what symbols can you see or find around you? This is like a scavenger hunt, okay? So I want you to maybe look on yourself, look around your room. What symbols can you see or find and what do they stand for? I'm gonna give you a hint. On my clothing, I have some symbols, right? There's a globe that stands for the world, right? And a globe with a flag and with the flag sticking right here where we live, this is kind of the sign for a symbol for key school, right? Oh, and there's another symbol for key school, right? The key B. But there are other symbols like this, right? This is a symbol for a sports clothing company. I think it's called Champion, maybe, I'm not sure, right? But I bet you have some symbols around your house. So I want you to gather at least a couple of symbols and we'll share them in our meeting in a minute. And I want you to get ready to explain. You can say, I see a mm, or here is a mm. It stands for mm. So I want you to be able to share a symbol and tell us what it stands for. See you in a minute. Bye.